What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to have a detailed gaming review of Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G smartphone by playing view of the most high and heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any heating issue or not. So here we go. So these are the games we got today here on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. The screen refresh rate is set to 120Hz. Under the battery setting we have selected the performance mode and we will use the game turbo feature to get the best performance out of the device. And in the game turbo we will use the balance mode because we are already using the performance mode from the battery settings. Right now the battery percentage is 100. The CPU temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and the battery temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. So first of all let's start with Injustice 2. So this is the maximum volume. The graphics quality is really nice and there is no So we are getting around 75 FPS. The graphics quality is good, there is no frame drop, no lagging. Everything is quite nice and smooth for sure. So as you can see the performance of Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G was quite nice while playing Injustice 2. The graphics quality was good, it was pretty smooth as well. We were getting around 75 FPS while playing Injustice 2 on our device here. Let's play it a bit more in auto mode and let's monitor the FPS one more time. So once again we are getting 75 FPS, 57, 73, 53, 75, it's not going more than 75, 77 so we can consider that on average you will get 70 FPS most of the time while playing Injustice 2 on Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G here. It's going as low as 30 as well sometimes. It went to 83 for the first time, 66, 76, 
So as I said, we can consider the average FPS of Injustice 2 on Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G as 70 FPS because it is fluctuating from 85 to 60 most of the time. So let's leave it. Let's have a look on the battery status. So the battery is at 98%, CPU is at 20 degrees Celsius and the battery temperature is 41 degrees Celsius now. So now let's play Asphalt 9. So here in the graphic setting of Asphalt 9, we have selected the high graphics quality and now let's play the game. The graphics quality is really good and there is no frame drop or lagging happening. We are getting 30 FPS, 31 FPS as you can see here while playing as Fault 9 on Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G here. The graphics quality is pretty good for sure. Light lagging just happened once now. So everything was nice and smooth while playing as Fault 9 on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G here. We were getting around 30 FPS constantly, graphic quality was good and it was pretty smooth. Just very minor lag happened once. And now the battery percentage is at 97. The temperature is pretty much at the same place. CPU 20, battery 41. Now it's time to play the next game and that's Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of Call of Duty Mobile, by default high is selected for both graphics quality and frame rate. I can go to max frame rate, but if I select the very high graphics quality, then the max frame rate is going back to very high. So this is the maximum possible combination of the frame rate and graphics quality for Call of Duty Mobile. And this is what I'm going to select here. Let's see how much FPS we are going to get and how smooth the gameplay of the device is going to be. Enemy contact. Enemy inside. 
So you can see that the graphics quality is very nice, gameplay is very smooth as well, no frame drops or lagging is happening, everything is pretty smooth. Let's see how much FPS we are getting. So we are getting 53 FPS, 60 FPS. As you can see here, it's pretty nice. Once again, let's have a look on the FPS. So we are constantly getting 60 FPS on the very high graphics and very high FPS. So there was a bit lagging happened. So the graphics quality is really good, we are getting lots of details and everything is nice and smooth. We are getting constantly 60 FPS while playing Call of Duty Mobile on Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G here. If you have a look on the battery status now, it is at 95%, the CPU and battery temperature are still same and now it's time to play the Altos Odyssey. This game can run at 120 FPS so let's see whether our device is capable of running it at 120 fps or not on injustice 2 we could get maximum around 80 fps even though it supports 120 fps as well so here you can see we are getting 108 fps 120 fps we are getting actually 120 constantly that's pretty nice and now i'm going to play it a bit more so it is sure that we are getting 120 FPS on Altos ODC while playing it on Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G and as you can see the graphics quality is good, the gameplay is pretty smooth as well here. No frame drops or lagging is happening.
Once again, we are constantly getting 120 FPS. Boom. So everything was nice and smooth while playing Ultra's Odyssey on Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. Now the battery percentage is 94, CPU is at 20, battery is at 42 degrees Celsius. Now let's play Dead Trigger 2. This game can support up to 120 FPS as well. So let's play it and let's see how much FPS we are going to get. So here in the graphics setting of Dead Trigger 2, you can see by default high graphics quality selected and 120 FPS. So this is what I'm going to select 120 FPS and ultra high graphics quality is available. So this is the combination I will use ultra high graphics quality and 120 FPS for Dead Trigger 2. Now let's play it and let's see how much FPS we will get in reality. So the graphics quality is nice. If you have a look on the gun, the reflection of the light and everything. Graphics quality is really good if you have a look on these zombies, lots of detail we are getting in everything. We are getting 60 FPS, 120 FPS, as you can see here. Once again, we are getting 120 FPS and that's quite nice for sure that we are getting this on the ultra high graphics quality. So even though Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G is not a very high-end device in terms of hardware specs, the performance is still pretty solid and satisfactory in terms of gaming. I'm gonna die here because I don't have <laughs> bullets in my gun and this guy is pretty strong but I wanted to give you the idea about the gaming capability of the device and as you can see that even on the ultra high graphics quality we were getting 120 fps constantly so that's pretty nice for sure so now the battery percentage is 93 and it's time to play the last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile, you can see by default HD is selected for the graphics and high for the frame rate. If I go to balanced, I can select ultra FPS as well. If I go to smooth, this is the maximum FPS I'm getting. HD onwards are not available as you can see here. So HD with high is available and this is what I'm going to use as the graphic setting for PUBG Mobile on Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G and let's see how good it's going to be. So the graphics quality is looking quite nice. If you have a look on the costume of the character, the reflection of the light on the shoulder pad, also on the vest, when the character is moving, it is quite nice. Also if you have a look on the ground, we are getting good amount of details. Once again, if you have a look on the reflection of the light on the surface of this tire here, good amount of details on the ground as well. 
we are getting 28 fps 60 fps as well so this is quite nice So the graphics quality is quite nice while playing PUBG Mobile here on Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. We are getting good amount of details. Twenty six FPS, thirty FPS, so. This is what we are getting constantly 30 31 fps while playing it on high graphics quality and high frame rate let me switch it to performance let's see whether we are going to get any improvement or not yes 48 but once again it's back to 31 so i think switching between the balance mode or performance mode is not going to do much difference and this is the reason that i was playing all of these games on the balance mode itself because my previous experience with xiaomi's game space or game turbo feature is that does not matter which gaming mode you are selecting you will get pretty much the same fps as you can see here we are getting 30 fps still does not matter if you are using the performance mode or the balanced mode but if you are a pubg player you should be getting the idea about the gaming capability of the device it's pretty nice no frame drops or lagging is happening and we are getting good amount of details as well considering the hardware we got on this device. The shadowing, the 3D graphics rendering, when I am changing the camera angles everything is nice and smooth.
So now I'm just gonna leave it. If you're a PUBG player, you should be getting the idea about the gaming capability of the device. It's pretty nice. We are constantly getting 30 FPS. And that's quite nice for sure here on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. And if we have a look on the battery status, it's at 90%. So considering the fact that we are playing all of these games for like 50 minutes, the battery percentage moved from 100 to 90 only. While playing all of these games on the highest possible graphics setting is quite impressive. And the device is not hot at all. The temperature is increased a bit for sure. It's warm. But it's not too hot and it's totally playable for long duration you can easily use this device for longer gaming sessions without facing any issue because we are playing these games for like 50 minutes and still the device is pretty much at the moderate temperature so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in another video have a nice day